And we're going to be with the presence known as Cartron in just a few seconds. So stay tuned now for Cartron's arrival. Yeah, so um, what Cartron's going to do is he's going to come through and not channel. It's going to be transmitting and he'll create the geometries in the body so that he can operate it. So that's what's going to happen. Let's see what he has to say. As you guys have been having actually a lot of fun lately. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Cartron being here for the higher purposes of reality, you can ask him any of those questions. Hello, Kenji. Hello, Cartron. How are you doing? I'm out right to blessed. Doing very well, thank you. So we are here to interview you. <laughs> we are interviewing each other, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> so here, let us interview ourselves. Okay. Oh, Cartron, what do you think about reality? Oh, let's ask the camera. And so the nature of this inquiry is what? <laughs> What is the real nature of how we create our reality, experience, emotions, beliefs, and how they play out in the physical plane versus the quantum plane of oneness? This will be from a quantum view? Yes. Because you guys have enough of the stuff here. Yes the uh, human level. We are also calibrating this response according to the beings that will be watching this, so this will be relevant to your souls and pres presence presences as well. The more densified forms of expression being the corporeal forms in the body region of the self, there are, there has been um, historically the veil which separates the different dimensions. This nature of gathering that is now coming together is such that it is no longer a big difference between the quantum states and the human ones. You yourself are opening, uh, poking holes in the fabrics and stitching them together. It is not so much making holes as it is joining the points together. These fabrics then will start stitching and weaving and there will be an interacting of them. So the human condition will be altered by the quantum states of divinity. Divinity in a generic term meaning both the celestial, the galactic and the uh, quantum state. So the expression here is literally going to be mutating. The evolution of the human possibility is now having to embrace its spirituality. It does not have a choice anymore. So how in the heck can humans deal with this if they're choosing to not see it? It's the more their resistance is there, the more snap it's going to be. That's why you guys have to be really ready to hold that space, so the frequencies. In the quantum states where you is your natural being, you notice how it's more comfortable in your meditations than it is breathing on a microphone. <sighs> Although this could have been classified as enjoyable. <sighs> the nature of <clears throat> this is such that pretty soon uh, Kenji's process is going to morph again. And so humanity is about to go through this. Hold on to whatever wardrobe you have besides your hats. So that's uh, such a broad question to distill it into a simple answer. Well, if you could distill it into a simple answer, Ah, okay. Ah, ooh, ah, whoa, yeah, huh? Maybe, nah, 
and not necessarily in that order. So in other words, what the heck just happened? Yes, where you toss them up and they'll yell back later. Mm -hmm. Somebody catch me. You, as a being who is here creating the wonderful divine mischief, it's kind of like here you are in the local life form. You, as a catalyst, is now not adhering to the conventions of capacities of awakening. That is why it works, because we've been working on the different aspects of the same system. It is not separate. So this being is now ready to open the portals and bring that in. It will make it a lot easier. So we are actually doing humanity a favor by being so stubborn with the light. Mm -hmm. Because we will hold that place and have to be the strongest thing. Because when the thing wobbles and we have all of these fabrics of consciousness pulling on it, all these agendas and whatever, oh, we're going to make you a slave planet because we love it or, oh, we're ascended, or whatever. Journey is in between. You guys will be holding those places for us. Very strong. And you will see an incredible strength or ability that will be beyond the human capacity to bring in that vibration. And that's what we are, for those who are wanting, getting you guys ready to do. You don't count in all of this because you're it's your game, you know, that's your hood up there. But here, you're going, yeah, forces of gravity, cars, life, money, government that's worried. And so it's going to be an interesting ride. And we have a lot of faith that you're going to make it perfect for us. <laughs> no pressure, by the way. Another question. Oh, we can blame you for everything <laughs> at any moment. That's okay, too. <laughs> so, I understand that you are a being of essence. Now, I have not ever heard that term before. So, when you asked me to do a, um, an attunement with where I came from, not too long ago in one of my sessions, um, you know, I replied back to you that, oh, I come from the realm of essence, yeah. the same place. So I had, that was the first time experientially that I, I had experienced that level. So for our viewers, could you briefly, in 5,000 words or less, talk about what it's like in that realm? Like, who's there besides you? Uh, besides me, I suppose. Uh, what is the purpose of essential beings and what is their contract or agreement with humanity? And with all of the angelic forces and elementals that are part of the Earth Mother, that are part of humanity, that whole aspect of um, evolution, and we'll just say accelerated evolution now because I believe we're ready for it. As your being was requesting this query, we were scanning your perception, request, and the fabric that is associated. So most succinctly, it can be described as what is the social construct or the design of society in the essential realm, as well as how it would treat any particular situation like a world ascending like this one in general. So it is not so much in relation to the angelic realms, it is in relation to, say, what this whole reality represents that will be the best parameters to frame this in. There are, uh, is, uh, it is an evolved aspect, and certain beings have evolved into a certain level of awakening of becoming just essence, pure essence. And so as they get closest to source and they purify this, then bodies are not a part of that. But they do not become just absorbed into the collective quantitative capacity. And as such, we use the fabric of creations of, of the quantum sciences to be one with everything at the same time as individuals. So therefore, a form is not necessary until it's required. And the requirement would be to interact 
with, say, a world like this one. So when this being was monitoring the reality, you see our role as essential beings closest to source would be what? The most essential position to monitor that all the vibrations of emanation are stabilized, which would then express in two worlds. So if there is a perturbance or whatever, then it, we monitor that. And then when it is decreed, from the source, we project and um, we corporealize into a form, and in this case, this being became five distinct personality constructs, creating its own council. And so, as a distinct personality, we project form and then we interact. In this case, that was about 10 millenniums ago. Before that, there was a five billion year exper experience in another galaxy, so who's counting after the first million? Mm -hmm. um, and once you get it right, why change it? <sighs> and so your beings are here and so monitoring this realm for 10,000 years we were looking for the dip in the evolution the one that could have gone very degradated yeah. mm -hmm. to the point of another Marduk or whatever the planet didn't make it and the let's say the principle in this investment of earth saw that it was in the best interest to take the five billion years of time and energy into forming this planet perfect was to be made sure that it wasn't going to be ruined by a mismanagement of a species called humanity or actually what has now made humanity its host so it is that infiltration that we had to come in and intervene to make sure that humanity goes back on its course. So this being essentially was here to monitor the evolution of the process, so in this case polarity. So this is not for light nor dark, but to maintain the balance so that this game, story, evolution, process, whatever it is termed, gets completed without ruining the last moments of, say, a 10 million year experiment, or actually a perfecting. So that is why we are here. How we relate is we come in and do not exist until we are engaging, then we are perceived, we are formed according to that. So it's like we cannot be read because we do not exist until we are seen to exist. It is the ultimate Zen thingy, to where nothing is everything. Got you. No, you got them. Their minds are going, I can't even think about which way to wrap my mind around that concept. But that, that is pretty profound. I'd like to conclude with Cartron's perspective on personal healing, or as we know, personal healing, personal transformation. Because many people come to us and they want what is termed deep personal healing, uh, a shift in their consciousness, so to speak. They want to be able to move out of this place of feeling very stuck um, psychically, um, emotionally, energetically. They know they have big things to do in the world and they can't seem to get there. Some have a vague notion perhaps of their vision, but I feel most people, they want to be able to be free. So as Cartron, as a presence, how can Cartron assist with all of us that wish to fully awake, basically, and really get on with our life here? What we, this being can do is what we have been doing. So we will speak from that which has been successful. We reverse engineer the process of everything. So therefore, in the quantum states, one 
becomes by not becoming. One creates by not creating. One concludes by not concluding because it is in a state of knowing the quantum reality exists. Therefore, as one with that, it is already done. As such, we know it into existence that therefore knowing which is a being science is the doing of the vehicle of creation that accomplishes in the quantum realms. So we just know it and it is so. So Cartron could balance out the environment of a country by knowing it. Or we could heal all of your future clients so that you have a much nicer client base now, from now on, because we know it. So for an individual to do this, they can just simply know themselves perfect, but these beings are attached to process. They must have a process because it is from this that they are looking at creation, and we must honor that so that then their perception is not, bulb, the circuits are not blown open. So we do it from here and bring it in, and then it's set like a program that then times releases. Yours is like a major stitching together of a possibility. It is downloaded, and then you run quickly before it goes off. Yes. <laughs> and then we have your big cleanup crew to make sure that there's no evidence that you did such things. Oh, that's kind of like certain aspects of how our government works in the other direction. <laughs> they are not good at cleanup. And so the expressions of things like government and everything else are basically um, the ex collective externalizations of the process. So as beings, for instance, want to change their government, they just realize that they are, have always had the power and they are the power. And this is what's happening now because we, the people, are doing this. So we are going to go in and help our government manage things better. Instead of some big dark thing, it's like, cool, let's just do it correctly. All these structures on your planet, but it's not really your planet, you too are a visitor, yes? Shh! Are such that they're all designed good enough to be efficient, well done, uh, correct good intent. They just get distorted through the civilizations and mismanaged. So it's simply just replacing the management crew or altering that course and assisting them in doing it correctly. It's not a big thing. And then people will say, oh yeah, because it is all also hooked in to the consciousness of the fabric of either detraction or say expansion. So it's like unplugging from that matrix. It's a simple process of life and death proportions. No big deal. So if you were to leave our audience with a very profound Zen saying, what would that be? Nothing.